Ariel Hawani in Anaheim getting set for UFC 241 alongside Super Sadiq Youssef, who meets Gabriel Mogli Benitez this Saturday at the Honda Center here in Anaheim. Sadiq, good to see you, my man. You're on a roll these days. Big fight for you. You fought uh, several times in the UFC, but never on a card quite like this before. What is it like being here? You've got all these famous guys next to you. Do you feel like this is sort of the next step in your career? Yeah, definitely, man. This feels like home. This is definitely the next big thing. Like you said, I, both of the last fights I fought on was fight nights. Yeah. This is my first pay-per-view, and it's a hell of a pay-per-view, too. Yes. You know, So I'm, I'm blessed. I can't complain. Yes, I can see the smile on your face. You're, even though you're cutting weight probably right now, you're loving life. Yeah, 100%, man. I'm one... Man, there's some people that they, they don't appreciate the opportunity we got, man. You know, like this is an opportunity to change my life, you know, and I'm, I'm just, I'm really happy to be here and I know I'm going to take full advantage of it. You were offered uh, Mowgli Benitez, guy who trains out of AK, who's looked pretty good as of late. How much did you know about him when you were offered him? Yeah, I kind of, I knew about him already before. You know, before I, before I was a UFC fighter, I've been a UFC fanatic, you know, okay. so <laughs> there's not that many fighters that I don't know. Okay. So I've seen, I've seen all, all, I've seen all of his fights. The only fights I didn't know about was his fights on the Tough Show, which after I got the contract, I went back to go watch. But yeah, I'm, I've, I know almost everybody from A, a to Z. And so, w you know, were you happy when you were offered this? Did you like the matchup? Yeah, yeah, man. Honest, a lot, like they always say, if you're if you're not ready to fight everybody here, then you're you're not ready to be in the UFC. You know. So once they gave me um, Benitez, I was like, all right, let's do this. You know, I got straight to training, start working with a couple of southpaws, and outside of that, I'm just ready to do my thing and shine, man. Hopefully, we put on a good entertainment show and get a bonus out of this. I see you rep in Nigeria. You're you're very proud of where you're from. And this is a crazy thing that's happened recently, like all these great fighters coming out of that country. How do you explain this? Always. Like I say, it's like the um, awakening of the 100th monkey. Like everybody learns to do something, and then all, all of them learn how to do it at once, you know. Like when I was coming up, I always had a dream of being here. It didn't, it didn't even click to me that there was other people that looked like me that was planning on getting here too. But when I saw... Um, Israel and Kamaru won that belt, man. It felt, man, it was like a freaking like star hit my heart or something like that. You know, it's super inspirational, and that's the feeling I want to provide for the other kids, for the people that are looking at me. Because there's one thing when you see people um, that are from where you're from, um, like um, like where your your state or something, and being in the UFC, you're supporting them. But if you see people that have your same blood, man, that's a whole different feeling. You know, especially like the kids back home, like for them to know that, like, hey, I'm from your same village, I'm from your same state. You know, is another inspiration. Not everybody that's from where I'm from could go the educational route. A lot of them can't afford that stuff, but all of us could work hard. I always say Nigerians are built for struggle, you know. This is, this is our sword, you know. It's just a matter of time. All we need is the knowledge and the coaches. The media back there, are they catching on to this? Do they recognize that you guys are doing so well? So right now, the UFC is at... Um, where the UFC was like in the 2000s here in America, that's where they're at now. You know that big boom where everybody's like, man, MMA is everywhere, you know, which is which is super cool. The UFC is doing their part because they're making the right kind of deals. They're signing with the right TV networks. So it's slowly going up. Every day is like new people follow me on Instagram from Nigeria. Some of them are just getting aware of the sport. But it, like I said, once you see MMA, it's, it's hard to look away. Like once you're a fan, you're a fan. That's it, you know. So like, like I said, they're doing their part, man. I can't wait. After this fight, I'm going to go back and just see how um, the reception is back there and so um, I know that your mom and I believe your brother were trying to come here to the States to, to be here full-time with you what's the latest there so, so no my mom and my brother's been here what I'm trying to do is get the rest of my family here okay. so my mom still has kids back there and I have tons of brothers and sisters over there how my many so I'm part, I'm I was born in a polygamous house. I have 16 brothers and sisters, you know. Yeah, so right now the biggest thing is trying to get my mom's kids here. That's been the struggle. But through the interviews, especially I did some interviews with MMA Junkie for my last fight and they actually got me a lot of good eyes and people contacted me to actually help me. So I, I was super appreciative of that. And in this fight actually I have two relatives that are coming to watch. So slowly but surely everything's going to fit into this place. I'm currently um, applying to become a citizen right now. I'm, I'm, I think we, oh, we got to do like one more little test or something like that. So once, once that's done, I think it will give me even a better opportunity to be able to help my brothers and sisters get here. And it's just, it's just, it's a waiting game, you know, but I'm, I'm happy to receive all the help that I can get. Of the 16, how many are here? Uh, right now, let's say four. But not so we got some work to do. Yeah, yeah, a lot of work to do. Do you know all of them? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. But right now, with my mom's kids, it's just me and my brother. You know, so like she has three other kids. Well, two now. My big brother passed away. I always, I always forget. But she has two other kids back home, and they like 
they've been there since we've been here, you know. So I, I would really love to get them over here just for a better opportunity. My last fight, um, I was able to put some money aside to help them um, get a store. So they're able to support themselves right now without my help. Before I ju just used to send constant cash, but it was my coach kind of talked to me. He's like, man, this isn't like a, it's not a longevity thing. You know, you can't, just can't keep sending money. So after the last fight, we was able to set up a store and we put a lot of products in there. So right now my sister is currently like sustaining herself. So while we're still working on trying to get them over here, I'm just happy that she can sustain herself for now. I remember when you shared with us about your your brother passing away. How are you dealing with that? How how are you know how are you handling that? I know you just mentioned him. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, it's cool. Like sometimes I forget, you know, like like in in the, in the middle of a sentence. But um, now nah, it's, it's 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 all good, you know. I took the time to deal and grief with that. His birthday was actually um two days ago. So I, I um so it's it's cool, man. You know, yeah. I always feel like he's watching over me. So it's not it's not it's not a big deal. Well, I wish you the best, my man. You're doing great things, and you're representing your family and your country very well. Keep it up. Continue success, and I'm looking forward to the fight. Good luck on Saturday. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's Ariel Hoani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff, and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.